Well, praise the Lord. This is Bill Prankard, and it's Mentoring Moments. So glad I can be with you again. I try to deal with one question a week. Every Thursday, it's released on our Facebook page and our other social media platforms. Question this week. Good question. These are all good questions. If you've got one, get them to us. Uh, You can either um, do it in comments. You can send it to info at bpea.com, and uh, we'll get them, and we'll do our best to answer them. How do I trust God when I don't understand why I'm going through a trial? Well, first of all, let me say, um, you're not alone. <laughs> Anybody who walks with God any length of time is going to go through trials that they don't understand. Whether it's physical attacks, whether it's spiritual attacks, whether it's attacks from other people, whatever. Whatever it is, and uh, or family, or finances, whatever, and um, you know, you pray, you do everything right, and it still doesn't seem getting better. In fact, sometimes it seems to get worse. So, what do you do? Well, first of all, I would read the book of Job, and uh, it was so bad with Job. He didn't understand what was happening. His whole world fell apart. He had everything going for him, and he lost everything. And, you know, some people suggested he was had sin or he's doing something wrong. That's not the case. Uh, first thing you do, if you're under attack, if you're going through trials you don't understand, is do what Job did. When his friends suggested that he must have sinned his life, he said, I don't think I do, but he asked God to search him. And that's the first step. You, you ask God, God, if there's anything in my life that's hindering or blocking or my breakthrough, uh, I want to deal with it. Show me, and I'll repent. I'll deal with it. I'll change. But then, you know, it got so bad, even Job's wife says, why don't you just curse God and die? And this is basically what Job said. When I do not understand, yet will I trust him. If you understood everything, if you had everything figured out, if you had all the answers, uh, you'd you'd be God. The Bible says his ways are higher than our ways, above our understanding. You're never going to figure it out. So what you do is you go back to the basics, what you do know. You know that God's good. You know his word's true. And you know that all things work together for good. So this is what is called faith, my friend. When you don't understand, you trust And you can be honest with God. David, through the Psalms, was so honest with God. He said, I don't get this. I don't understand. But yet, I know. I know you're good. And you go with what you believe and know. And then focus on what the Bible says. If there's any good report, any good prayer, anything worthy of praise, any lovely, any pure, think about these things. You'll encourage yourself. And you'll get strong. But here's the bottom line. If you're going through stuff, if you're if you're under attack, if you're going through a trial, you don't understand it, uh, don't listen to what people are telling you to give up and quit. That's not a good time to quit. That's a time to dig in your heels and say, oh, no, I'm believing for breakthrough. And I'm going to keep knocking till the door is open. I'm going to keep seeking till I find it. I'm going to keep asking until I receive. That's what faith is, a faith person. You will have trials. You know, the Bible says, don't think it's strange when you have these fiery trials come upon you. But we are more than conquerors. That means you're not just going to make it. You're not just going to survive. You're not just going to conquer. You're more than a conqueror. So, my friend, be encouraged today. And, And let me tell you this. If you're going through trials, you're under attack, the devil's attacking you, take it as a compliment. Devil, Devil's puny, but he's not stupid. He doesn't attack those who aren't doing anything. He doesn't attack those who have no potential of doing something. The moment you go to do something for God, he wants to do everything he can to stop you. He'll lie. He'll do everything. He'll send stuff your way. But you just rise up and you say, I know my God lives. I know he's on the throne and he does all things well. And this is going to end good. It's going to end in victory and breakthrough. This is Bill Prankard. And this is Mentoring Moments.